everybody and happy Friday. So we're all getting ready for start of mass again. And uh, I wanted to give you a little preview of my new look. I've been working on it for a long time. I know a lot of you have gotten your hair cut. So hang on a second while I get my look ready. This is how I'm gonna look when you see me on uh, the weekend of June 13th and 14th. I hope you'll recognize me and I hope you'll all be looking like this as well. Okay, what do you think? Hopefully I'll stand out in a crowd. So seriously, I do want to talk about a couple of things to expect when you return to Mass on June 13th and 14th. So yes, you need to wear a mask for Mass. Mask for Mass, that's hard to say. Uh, and there's a number of guidelines that you will see in the bulletin this weekend uh, that talk about what to expect when you return to Mass. Please take a look at that insert. It will pretty much tell you everything you need to know. Of course, if you've watched any of the Archdiocesan videos, you probably have a little preview of, of what to expect. There will be a sign-up process that will be on our website every Monday for the following week's Mass. So next Monday, look for the sign-up on our website for the June 13th and 14th Masses. And because it's our first weekend and we're not really even sure how long everything's gonna take, please be patient. And remember that for the first weekend, we are not having an 11 a.m. Mass. So on June 14th, no 11 a.m. Mass. And that's because we don't know how long it's gonna to take to clean the church after Mass. We wanna work through it one weekend, make sure that we can get everybody out and back in for 11 a.m. before we actually have a Mass going. We are gonna to continue to live stream, as you know. Um, and so if you're not comfortable coming to Mass, you can certainly watch our live stream Mass on the weekends. Currently our plans are to live stream every Mass. So uh, if you have a special event that's occurring, a baptism, First Communion, and you have relatives that cannot attend, they can certainly watch it on the live stream. In addition to lots of guidelines about coming back to Mass, I wanted to talk a little bit about what's going to be happening at the office. So our parish office vestibule will continue to be open from 10 to 3, seven days a week. So if you are not comfortable coming to Mass, you can continue to drop food donations off in the vestibule, as well as offertory and on other contributions in our mail slot. We will be available by appointment only if you need to meet with one of the staff. We are going to start a gift card ordering process so that you can order gift cards in advance and pick them up at Mass or in the office and look for the details of that to come out very soon. In addition, if you have to drop off anything at the office, you can continue to do that in our mail slot. If there's anything you need to pick up, we will arrange for you to have that available when one of our staff is in the office. Uh, unfortunately, every time somebody walks in and out of the office, we have to sanitize everything. So trying to keep a, a minimum load on the folks that are here so we can concentrate on the programs and all the administrative things we need to do. Not that we don't want to see you, but for now, we don't want to see you. <laughs> no, we, we, need to, we need to keep uh, the, the parish office uh, relatively unpopulated as I'm sure you can understand. Slowly, we'll be having volunteers come back into the office as they are comfortable, and we hope to resume to normal operations sometime soon. You may have noticed that my videos have become a little less silly and a little more information packed over the last couple of weeks. And that's because there's lots going on as we approach the reopening. But I did to reiterate how blessed we are as a parish family. You have been food for me um, during this time with your generosity, with your love, with your care. Uh, and um, I could not imagine being in a more wonderful parish than, than St. Catherine Drexel. Uh, an example is the Needy Family Fund. Uh, a parishioner said, I'd like to donate my pandemic check. And I thought, 
great idea. And I invited other folks to donate so that families in our parish who were having trouble getting groceries, affording to feed their families, would be able to be helped. And since that time, we've received over $10,000 for the Needy Family Fund. Thank you so much for, for that and for everything that you do. Um, I, I know that this parish runs the way it does because of our leadership in Father Keith, because of the ownership that folks take in their ministries, and because of the willingness of everyone to volunteer their time and their talent and to give from their treasure. So thanks again for all you do. Let's pray for peace in our country and in our world. And I look forward to seeing you very soon.